All right, guys. It is a cloudy day, soon to be rainy night here in the end times. <coughs> and bugs in a jar farm. It is now. Uh, it is a gloomy Tuesday afternoon, August 29th, 2023, and uh, I just finished this, you know, that little eco pussy over there at that other channel. Just finished doing, reading this article on climate dread, on how people are just, more and more people are, are leaving climate anxiety behind and entering the realm of climate dread. <laughs> and and I don't know, guys, maybe Book Hermit has just worn off on me. So I'm sitting here, literally, sitting here watching the, uh, you know, watching the track of this, uh, this damn hurricane down there in Florida barreling directly towards this uh, real estate investment property that <coughs> I spent thousands and thousands of dollars to purchase uh, in the spring of 2021. Uh, you're, you're all doomer. <coughs> uh, when was that? About five months before Ian hit and uh, and wiped out my brother you know living on the on the Gulf Coast of Florida uh, so I I have a category three they're already whispering it might be a category four hurricane barreling directly uh, it, it, into my real estate investment they have I guess they have evacuated the entire town of Inglis Florida uh, I-N-G-L-I-S is where I and I'm actually north of Inglis heading towards Cedar Key <coughs> so I'm <coughs> between Inglis and Cedar Key is is, is where my great real estate <coughs> investment is and I'm really trying to work up a sense of dread, a sense of dread uh, uh, about this. And I, I don't know, guys, am, am, am I just an unfeeling, heartless bastard or, or whatever, or have I just been reading too many of Book Hermit's comments, I just can't work my panties up into a lot about it. My, so I, I you know, my, my biggest fear was, as I was talking about in, in this other rant a few minutes ago, were these five big ass pine trees uh, on my property that I wanted to m remove before the next hurricane hit. So in the spring of 2022, uh, what did I say earlier? 21, uh, it was spring of 2022 is what I, I, wait a minute, I'm totally forgetting. No, I'm sorry. I'm totally forgetting what year. I have no idea what year it is anymore. My brain cannot think back one or two years. But anyway, a year and a half ago, whatever spring that was, I uh, since the trees were alive, I took my chainsaw and girdled them, meaning I killed them but left them standing uh, with the intention of letting them die for six months, hoping I could get through one hurricane season without, uh, without the carnage, and then I was going to go, you know, probably pay somebody a lot of money to take out these five trees so I wouldn't have to deal with the hurricane carnage. So anyway, then I didn't make it down there. So now I have these five big-ass dead 
pine trees, kind of like that big ass dead fir tree, which you probably can't see here in the uh, in, in in this picture. And so, but now I'm just saying, what the hell? I'm thinking. Well, the more I think about it, the goddamn hurricane's gonna blow them over, and I'm not gonna have to pay. Uh, I, I'm not going to have to pay anyone to cut the damn trees down. So thank you, Idalia, for saving me several hundred dollars uh, for having to take out these trees. And the, the single biggest dread I have is, uh, you know, getting a hernia cleaning up the big fucking mess that I'm going to walk into down there in... Uh, in November, I've pretty much made up my mind that I will be spending the winter uh, down in Florida, uh, just uh, a few miles just down the street from uh, my property. <clears throat> so I'll have plenty of time to clean up the mess if I don't give myself a hernia. So, I, I mean, even with a fucking major hurricane, getting ready to slam into my real estate investments, I, I just can't... I just can't work myself up into a fucking lather about it. I, I feel more dread. Uh, I, I, I feel more dread... Uh, realizing that I'm never going to get laid again as long as I live. I, I feel more dread about dealing with the fucking DMV and, and the goddamn vehicle inspector and, and winterizing this fucking camper and all of that shit. I, I feel more dread uh, 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 about the goddamn bullshit. Just the, this day-to-day -day fucking stressful bullshit uh, that I'm going to go through in the next two months. The goddamn money I'm getting ready, you know, uh, all of my insurance premiums are due. Uh, my fucking taxes on this place are coming due the day I leave. Uh... All of this shit, uh, I, I feel more dread uh, about just dealing uh, with all of this day-to-day -day fucking bullshit coming my way in, in the next couple of months than I do uh, about climate change uh, taking down the planet. Uh, and, and I don't know if I'm the only doomer. Uh, you know, it's uh, dread. It's just once you reach the point of acceptance, uh, once you truly accept on a on a cellular level that you know that we are completely fucked. And uh, climate change, on one level, has nothing to do with the reason why we're all so fucked. And you realize, in addition to that, there is nothing you can do. There is not one action, not one action that you, uh, anybody else, any government, any fucking corporation... Uh, can do a goddamn thing about it uh, once you understand there is no such a thing as the uh, oxymoronic mythical term of climate action. It is, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. Uh, and there's not a fucking thing you can do about it. Uh, you, you get beyond dread. And it was reading this fucking horse shit article. You can go here on that other channel. You know, someone writing a, a, a story about climate dread and saying avoid 
acceptance because acceptance leads you this is a psychologist basically I think it was some sort of shrink saying avoid acceptance because that leads to inaction well when you accept the the, the, the fucking fact that there's not a fucking thing you're, you're going to do about climate change or any of the rest of it. it and you accept that fucking fact you don't dread it you know and uh, you let it the fuck go and uh, it is what it is and uh, start dreading uh, paying your goddamn property taxes uh, paying your fucking insurance getting your car inspected uh, I, I have a hell of a lot more dread uh, that somebody's gonna find a fucking bed bug in, in, in one of my tiny houses the thought of, uh, uh, of somebody finding a fucking bed bug uh, in, in one of my tiny houses strikes a hell of a lot more dread uh, into my heart uh, than a fucking category three or category four hurricane uh, barreling towards my fucking real estate investment in English, Florida. Uh, that's what uh, throws me into a state of panic. Uh, so anyway, here I sit, uh, dreading all the fucking work I have to do. So uh, day after tomorrow, uh, the biggest weekend of the year cranks up. Good God, is it going to be a zoo at Bugs in a Jar Farm, but uh, at least the weather is supposed to be absolutely spectacularly gorgeous for Labor Day weekend, baby. And uh, so I'm just going to get back to being a vacation rental super host for Labor Day weekend and then business will slack off considerably and I can start dealing with all of this dread of uh, just dealing with the fucking bullshit the fucking bullshit with the overlay of the dread that, that I'm never going to see pussy again as long as I fucking live. Anyway, get out there and enjoy accepting the fact that you and we are fucked uh, and there is no action there is no climate action or any other action you can take with the possible exception of keeping your fucking pecker in your pants. Uh, we're so fucked. Alright, little dog, we gotta pack it up. And I'm dreading those fucking slugs getting in my goddamn tomatoes and ruining my fucking BLTs. I'm off to make a BLT while I still can. My guys. Are you dreading life, little dog? Sancho Panza, what are you dreading? What are you dreading? So... What does this dog sit around in dread? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure Sancho Panza spends a lot of time dreading the future. As long as he has his chippies to chase and his chicken to eat. Life's not bad in the end times. <laughs>